Welcome to Way Back Mondays. This is a new section on my YouTube channel where we're going to talk about movies from the past. I'm going to give you my opinion, my thoughts, and my rating at the very end. Today we're going to talk about the Back to the Future trilogy. I've always been fascinated by the idea of time travel, so these movies really appeal to me. It is one of my favorite trilogies because I love every single entry, and that is hard to say for trilogies. Usually there's one really good movie, and then the sequel is not good, and maybe the third one will be good or bad. Back to the Future. This movie was so spectacular. I remember the first time I saw it, I was in awe of everything I was seeing. I love the characters and I loved that the actors played the older versions of themselves. It was so cool to see them. When we first see Marty, you instantly fall in love with his character and he is a great protagonist. He is very quirky and very smart at the same time. And I love that he gets to go back and see his parents fall in love and some complications come with it, but it is so fun to see that. You could see why Doc has that impression on the people in town, because he is this crazy person to everyone that often talks about themes or topics that not everyone understands, so everybody sees him as this crazy guy who is not a good influence, when in reality he is this smart, and without him we wouldn't have a time machine to go back to the future. Back to the Future 2, we have Biff who learns about the time machine and changes the past, therefore changing the future. So we have to go back in time to not make that happen and to get everything back to normal. And it is crazy to think that all of these movies are taking place at the same time, but it's also fascinating to know that they were helping each other out. I love the idea they have of what the future looks like. It is crazy to think what people thought 2015 would be like. Some of the things we have, some of them we don't. So it is like us thinking about 2054. From clothing to technology to the way people live. I also love that we get to see a different angle and a different perspective of the last scene from the first movie. So we get two different versions of that and even three. That is what is so mind-blowing about it, that it all makes sense. And when you watch it, you go, oh, yeah, that's right. That's why it happened. This movie ends in a cliffhanger. It leaves you with your mouth open, not knowing what's going to happen next. Back to the Future 3, we get to go to the past this time around and to save Doc. This is more focused on Doc than on Marty, but it still works out because we get to see a different side of him, we get to see him fall in love, and we get to see Marty meeting his old, old relatives, which is great. We also get this cool western, which I really enjoyed because it changes the tone of the movies, but we still have to go on this adventure before the time runs out. We get to say goodbye to the DeLorean, and we get to say hello to a train time machine, which looks awesome, but I am going to miss that car because I loved it. Like I said before, all of these events are taking place at the same time. Think of it as in Harry Potter, the prisoner of Azkaban, where Harry and Hermione go back in time and they help themselves without knowing they help themselves. It is a little tricky, but it is so cool. One thing that brings me back to the emotion of these films is the score. I love that theme. It is one of my favorite themes ever. I love listening to it from time to time. I really enjoyed it when it was part of the Universal Studios tour tram because I was freaking out watching that clock tower in real life and knowing that that's where they filmed it. The effects on all three movies still hold up even after all these years. Uh, some of them look a little dated but some of them do work out still and they must have been groundbreaking when they came out. I also like that the threat through the trilogy it is very consistent. We understand what's going on and each and everything that happens has to do with the other movie, which really makes this a solid trilogy. We are essentially watching the same movie over and over again, but it has enough differences and it keeps you interested enough to keep watching and to feel the same feelings every time you see it. It is a classic, what can I say? One of the best for sure. This is a five star trilogy, five stars for every movie because they were very exciting. I felt the same kind of emotion watching each and every one of them. And it was such a ride. I wish I could erase it all from my memory and watch it all over again for the first time. If you enjoyed this new section, leave a thumbs up. I'm going to keep uploading 
way back Monday, so stay tuned for that. Leave your comments down below. What do you think of the Back to the Future trilogy? Let me know. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, follow me on Stardust, that minute movie pop, and I will see you soon.